welcome to power electronics lecture series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakya, is going to explain you class e chopper in this session. So to understand class e chopper, these are my session outlines where first I'll be going to explain you basics of class e chopper. After that, I'll explain circuit of class e chopper. Then after we will see modes of class e chopper and working of class e chopper. And at the end, I'll explain some conclusive points which is there with class E chopper. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of class E chopper. Now see class E chopper that is four quadrant chopper. So it functions in all four quadrant of chopper. And as initial as in initial video, I have explained chopper is been classified based on its output characteristics. So here in class E chopper, chopper functions in all four quadrant. It functions in first, second, third and fourth quadrant. I'll show you how it functions in all four quadrants. It is a parallel combination of two class C chopper. So I have already made a session based on class C chopper. You can see that in my previous videos where you will be observing the circuit of class C chopper is connected in class E chopper as two parallel class E class C chopper, right? So when you connect two parallel class C chopper, it can make class E chopper and class C chopper that functions in two quadrant, right? So here by connecting two parallel class C, we can function class E chopper in all four quadrants. And if you observe its output characteristics, then this is voltage on vertical axis and on horizontal axis there is current and you will be observing it functions in all four quadrant where in first quadrant output voltage and output current will be positive. In second quadrant output voltage is positive and output current is negative. In third quadrant output voltage and output current will be negative and in fourth quadrant output voltage is negative and output current is positive. So that is how four quadrant working is there with class E chopper and it is even a parallel combination of two class C chopper. Now how it is happening, let us try to understand that with its circuit first. So if you observe circuit of class E chopper, then there are total four switches, switch one, switch two, switch three and switch four. And this is my load over here where I have considered inductor and battery E in load. And this is what the conventional current direction, which I have considered as positive current direction. So this is the direction of current of output that is referred as reference current direction as a positive current direction. And voltage is considered as positive by this terminal positive with respect to this terminal. Now see here few things that we need to understand. We cannot turn on switch one and switch two simultaneously. If you turn on switch one and switch two simultaneously, output will get short circuited. As well as we cannot turn on switch three and switch four simultaneously. As if we do this, in that case, we can short circuit VS. So this is what we need to take care of. We should not turn on these two switch simultaneously or we should not turn on these two switch simultaneously. Now, how different modes are there. So let us try to understand this. See here, we will be turning on switch one and switch four at the same time. So when you turn on switch one and switch four at the same time, this inductor will store its energy and this chopper will function in first quadrant. And when you switch off this switch one and switch two, at that time, inductor will release its energy and you will be observing this chopper will function in fourth quadrant, right? Now, when you turn on switch two and switch three, at that time, you will be observing this chopper is having positive negative voltage and negative current and it will function in third quadrant. But when you switch off this switch three and switch four, charged inductor will release its energy and it will be conducting diode D1 and D4 and it will function in second quadrant. So all those things that I'll show you step by step in modes of 
class e chopper so see when we talk about modes of class e chopper then these are four different switches which we have and as if i turn on switch 1 and switch 4 at the same time source current that will flow in this loop so current by vs supply will flow from switch 1 to inductor to e to switch 4 in this loop and inductor will get charged by this polarity you can see plus and minus so when we switch on switch 1 and switch 4 at the same time current will flow in this loop and inductor will charge by plus minus polarity as one can see it in this figure and here you will be observing direction of current that is there in this direction so current is positive and this voltage that is having Vs plus over here and Vs minus over here so output voltage is even positive so we can say this mode is functioning in first quadrant now as if we turn off this two switch then what will happen then inductor will reverse its polarity and as inductor reverses its polarity and it will get discharged by this loop so you will be observing current will flow from inductor to e to data d3 to d2 so now data d3 and d2 will come in forward bias and current will flow in this loop now you can observe here current direction is positive right but you can see plus vs that is appearing over here and minus vs that is appearing over here so that is opposite to the direction of conventional direction of voltage so output voltage is negative and output current is positive so output voltage is negative output current is positive means this mode is functioning in fourth quadrant now you can observe we have this circuit and in this if we turn on switch 3 and switch 2 at the same time then what will happen then you can observe current will pass from Vs to switch 3 to E to L to switch 2 in this loop and inductor will charge by plus and minus polarity like this you can see now here if you observe direction of current so that is opposite to the direction of output current so output current is negative and you can observe supply voltage vs that is appearing over here so it is minus and minus terminal is appearing over here right to positive terminal of output with reference so you can observe output voltage is even negative and as output voltage is negative output current is negative we can say this chopper will function in third quadrant right and inductor will charge its energy by plus and minus polarity like this now if you turn off this two switch then inductor will reverse its polarity and it will release its energy so current from inductor will flow in this loop and because of direction of current is there in this direction d1 and d4 will come in forward bias and you can observe current will flow in this loop so current will flow for, from inductor to d1 to supply to d4 to e like this now here we can say current direction that is in opposite to the conventional direction and voltage at output side will be plus Vs over here and minus Vs over here that is positive voltage so here output current is negative and output voltage is positive means circuit functions in second quadrant so that is how different modes are there so let us see conclusive points which is there with class H of so DC supply will get short circuited as if we turn on switch 1 and switch 2 simultaneously or if we turn on switch 3 and switch 4 simultaneously. So we should not turn on switch 1 and switch 2 at the same time 
as well as we should not turn on switch 3 and switch 4 as a, at the same time else DC su supply will get short circuited. When chopper functions in first and third quadrant, you will be observing average output voltage is less than input voltage means it will function as step down chopper and you will be observing when chopper works in second and fourth quadrant average output voltage will be more than input voltage means it will be functioning as step up chopper. So in first and third quadrant chopper will function as step up chop step down chopper and in second and fourth quadrant this class E chopper will function as step up chopper. So you can see here in first and third quadrant this class E chopper will function as step down chopper and in second and fourth quadrant functioning you will be observing this chopper will function as step up chopper and why it is happening the reason is you will be observing in step down chopper inductor voltage polarity will be opposite to the Vs polarity right so resultant output voltage will be lesser than Vs while in second and fourth quadrant inductor voltage polarity will be in the direction of polarity of Vs that's why you will be observing output voltage will be addition of voltage due to energy stored in inductor plus Vs so that will make functioning of second and fourth quadrant as a step up chopper so that is how different modes of class E choppers are there I hope that you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions and I want my students to write comments over here so that I can understand what are the issues which is there with students and based on your comments definitely I'll get back to you and in future I'll make videos which will solve your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions.